Is the creature in the video some kind of relic species, some extremely large cousin of the Titan Naboa that somehow survived? And when the Amazonian tribes people described Boyuna, the serpent river god, could they have really been talking about something real? This stunt that is getting a lot of attention. You'll and I would say the snake I saw there raised up by about, I would say, 10 foot. Well, scientists in the Amazon rainforest may have found the world's biggest snake. Yeah, take a look. It can grow as big as 24 feet long and weigh around 1,100 pounds. An Adelaide mother has come face to face with one of the world's deadliest snakes. From hidden corners of jungles to the banks of rivers, busy streets to roofs and trees, we are going to show you the giants of the snake kingdom. So tag along on the journey of uncovering 20 reasons why the Titanoboa may still exist. The Lost Pet This Michigan neighborhood made headlines when an almost 5-meter python named Juliet made a daring escape and ended up atop a Detroit home's garage. Hey, it's a snake bust out the garage. I'm like, what? The massive reticulated python continuously slithered back and forth on the rooftop and drew a crowd of onlookers. Eventually, someone called Juliet's owner. <laughs> Kitty can't go pet it. <laughs> In this gripping moment, he ascended to the roof, skillfully reclaimed his adventurous reptilian pet, and brought this unexpected chapter to an end. Is that the owner? Ah, he wants to touch it. <laughs> Although it was a pet, isn't it still freaky to see a giant five meter long python on a roof? Well, for me at least it is. Kitty said go pet it, Brandy. The Amazon's Giant. Boating expedition in the Amazon River took an unexpected turn when these daring adventurers stumbled upon a colossal surprise, a seven meter anaconda. The astonishing encounter unfolded amidst the mysterious surroundings as the massive serpent coiled itself on the riverbank. The boaters cautiously approached this anaconda, which was perfectly reminding them about ancient Titanoboa. Now, you will say this is an exaggeration, and yes, it is way smaller than the Titanoboa, but it's still bigger than a normal anaconda. The length of a regular anaconda could reach around four to five meters. But as per the boaters, with a diameter of almost 20 inches, this anaconda was no less than seven meters. Well, that's something extremely extraordinary, isn't it? The Gymnast. Imagine looking outside your window only to spot this. <laughs> Be brave. I'll listen to Gary. <laughs> A huge python slithering through the trees. Offering an extraordinary encounter with wildlife right at their doorstep, this five meter long carpet python decided to show some next level gymnastic skills in the backyard of this Queensland family. He's going the next one now. Oh, look, his, tail's his tail's gonna go. Ready? His tail's gonna go Ready, The snake's huge size and agility captivated the family and onlookers, transforming their ordinary surroundings into an unbelievable display. The python demonstrated its acrobatic skills among the trees. Yeah. Oh my god, look at it. Now. Oh, oh, it's, oh got, wow. it's got muscle. It's got bone. And the family found themselves immersed in this captivating experience. Thankfully, before things could escalate further, the family contacted the wildlife workers, and at last, the snake was sent back to where it truly belonged. Oh, it's, it's all one big muscle. Hey? The Burmese Python. So, the Everglades just unveiled their own version of a heavyweight champion, a six meter Burmese Python. She really made other pythons look like garden hoses. I mean, seriously, it's a scale covered behemoth, breaking all kinds of Florida records. 
This female is the largest snake in the state of Florida, definitely the largest. With a length of six meters, a weight of 215 pounds, and a diameter of almost 200 inches, she could have been a perfect fit to be the LeBron James of snakes. Only if she didn't have 122 developing eggs in her abdomen. This is a little bit larger, but imagine 122 of these developing inside of this python. The snake was found in June 2022 by the Conservancy of Southwest Florida, and until today, she enjoys being the longest and heaviest python of the Sunshine State. Python in farm. Well, buckle up, folks, because this farm in Bolito, South Africa, just got itself a slithery surprise. A whopping five-meter python, who decided to drop by uninvited and left all the farmers probably with a collective what-on-earth moment. Looking like a real estate agent of the animal kingdom, this python was literally checking out properties in Bolito while making the chickens and other small critters rethink their evening plants. Imagine going that close and stumbling upon a python that's practically measuring itself in SUV lengths. But luckily, this one perfectly knows that he's not supposed to charge the cameraman. Nature, you're full of surprises. And apparently, so are Bolito Farms. Sleeping in toilet. A fearless woman turned into a real life snake charmer when her five year old son dropped the news there was something strange in the toilet. And no, it wasn't just a clogged drain, it was a huge six meter long python catching some Z's in the porcelain throne. Fortunately, she was wise enough not to mess with it on her own, hence called the wildlife professionals who rushed onto the scene. They captured it and then took it to the nearby Wildlife Conservancy. <laughs> By the way, from now on, forget about checking for monsters under the bed. Now you've got to worry about pythons taking naps in the bathroom. Home Invader. Imagine walking into your apartment and bam, there it is, a four meter long python giving you the evil eye. Well, you'd be surprised, just like this Malaysian man was. Unlike some people in this situation, the man still had enough survival instinct left to instinctively call wildlife workers. They immediately responded, and in no time, the slithering intruder was out of the apartment. So if you ever have a similar encounter, instead of going all action hero and chasing the serpent right towards your apartment, dialing up the firefighters would be a solid move. The boa constrictor. Discovered in the dense foliage of Dominica, this gigantic five meter long snake got the full crane treatment, and the whole scene was caught on camera. The snake was found by the workers who were clearing a part of the forest. Instead of getting it out of its habitat, they thought it better to shift it from the site through a crane, and the process was recorded by one of the workers. The video showcased the snake being suspended in midair, and just when you thought it couldn't get any more chilling, the snake's head slowly sneaks back up. No one's quite sure which snake species this was, but actually, in this area, only the boa constrictor is known to reach to such a length. Anaconda Crossing River. How about a blast from the prehistoric past? Yep, you've seen it right. It was indeed a modern day Titanoboa. It was first seen on the bank of Xingu River in Brazil by a helicopter pilot who caught it on camera and told government authorities about it. The footage was unbelievable, so they decided to investigate further and caught it while it was crossing the river. And according to them, it was an anaconda that was almost 16 meters long. Doesn't it seem like the ancient Titanoboa that ruled the Earth about 16 million years ago? Did he suddenly decide to make a surprise comeback to our world? People have got some mixed opinions about it. 
Some think it's fake, whereas for many, it's a real life wonder. So what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Finally awakened. Now, here's a snake that's channeling its inner cobra on a mysterious level. So forget about a garden variety slitherer, we're talking about a snake with serious neck muscles. Dude was heading out on a casual stroll when he noticed this snake standing up seven feet high from the ground. It was so chilling that he thought it better to just escape from there. But fortunately, he didn't forget to record that short clip so we can also see the wonders of the Earth. He later uploaded it to the internet, where the reptilian Houdini left onlookers scratching their heads like, is this a snake or a yoga master in disguise? Maybe it's on a mission to reach new heights in the animal kingdom. Whatever the reason, this mysterious snake has undoubtedly taken the phrase stand tall to a whole new level. Close Encounter this time, it happened in the middle of Peru's Madre de Dios region, where a naturalist stumbled upon a massive five-meter anaconda. Oh my god, I've just found the coolest thing ever. Silently laying coiled in ambush along the edge of a tiny stream. Green anacondas, known as the world's heaviest snakes, typically dominate the swamps and slow-moving rivers of the Amazon. Encountering one in such close quarters, especially in a modest stream, is an extraordinary stroke of luck. These apex predators are skilled hunters, and only a fortunate prey could escape from their jaws once they set their eyes on it. Thankfully, this guy was one of those few and came out safely. The Indian Python Amidst a holiday stroll in the Tirunavelli Karayanalur forest of India, these guys suddenly happened to see this. <laughs> Neither a log nor a rock, it was a python. <laughs> yeah, a seven meter long python. This gigantic 200 pound Indian python was literally enough to freeze their blood. So they decided to go closer to it, only to realize not only was it alive, but it was also in an aggressive mood. But they still managed to film it and later uploaded it to the internet. It went viral in a snap and left viewers with a mixed opinion about it. Some think it's an anaconda and for others, it's an Indian python and others still recognize it as a reticulated python, but its true identity is yet to be confirmed. Snake Skeleton Did you know that the Titanoboa is believed to be around 16 meters in length? Considering the extreme length, a team of artists decided to recreate the mythical creature. They silently built it on the coast and left it for the people to stumble upon. That's just one side of the coin though. The other is that it was discovered through Google Maps in France, and that it's an actual skeleton of a prehistoric snake. Its length is said to be around 130 meters long. Taking into account all of the details, many experts are convinced of it, as it's now proven that it's a bone skeleton. They also discovered a strange bone, which makes the entire discovery more intriguing. So what's your take? Which version do you think it is? Let me know in the comments down below. Nest of 100 snakes. Houses, toilets, and now even mattresses. These snakes are literally not in the mood of taking rest. Just imagine this is your mattress, and right before you sleep, you discover this. The clip allegedly hailed from a town in the Philippines, where the owner noticed a tail peeking out of the tiny hole from his mattress, hence decided to check it out. He thought it would be some kind of ordinary reptile, but actually there were 100 snakes nesting inside. A new phobia unlocked indeed. Naka Cave. The Naka or Naga Cave is one of the many wonders in Thailand. Often described as the Snake Cave of Thailand, Naka Cave owes its name to its snake-like rocks and formations. The head of the Naga or the head of the snake. Because of its unique structure, there are many myths surrounding its history and how the cave came to be. 
People there believe it was a giant snake that turned into stone as punishment by the Buddha. The claim seems true, as it perfectly looks like fossils of a snake, or maybe multiple snakes. Interestingly, the Naga are Titanoboa-like mythical creatures significant in several South Asian and Southeast Asian cultures. In this way, the Naga and Titanoboa could be the same creature. So we can say that Naka Cave is also one of the many other proofs of the existence of Titanoboa. Two-Headed Snake Twin snakes, each with its own personality. So you see the excitement on their face, it's pretty exciting. Flicking tongues and checking out the world like it owns the place. Well, we've got a mysterious snake for you that's breaking all the rules. It's got not one, but two heads sharing a single body. Noticing the unique features, the snake was brought to an expert and he declared it completely healthy. I'm taking an x-ray to see what's going on with their organs. They were wondering about its two heads, but only until the vet x-rayed it. This snake's not just rocking two heads, it's got a lot of other bonus features. Two hearts. This snake has two hearts. That is so cool. Yeah, it owns two hearts. And that simply means that it's not an ordinary two-headed snake but they are two snakes sharing one body. Boy, Mother Nature is indeed way more mysterious than we think. Carpet of Snakes. All right, picture this wild scene. You're smack in the middle of the wilderness and suddenly you stumble upon this living snake carpet on the ground. And oh, not just a few of them, we're talking about thousands. And each snake adds its own flair to make the ground look alive and moving. It's hard to imagine wanting to get close to the slithering carpet of almost 75,000 snakes, but it happens yearly, and thousands of visitors attend this reptilian display in the remote hamlet of Narcissa in Manitoba, Canada. Over the winter, these snakes seek shelter from below freezing temperatures in limestone caves in Manitoba's Interlake region. They survive on stored fat, and when the weather gets warm again, as it is in this example, Thousands of these red-sided garter snakes gradually awaken from an eight-month nap in their subterranean limestone lairs. Anaconda Crossing Road Imagine watching this ahead from your car windshield while driving on the road. Looks like there was no zebra crossing around, so this magnificent anaconda had to halt the hustle and bustle of this road in Porto Velo, Brazil. With a length of over five meters and tipping the scales at a whopping 90 pounds, this giant serpent decided to play a real-life frogger on the road. It could have caused a great panic if this had happened somewhere else. But dude, it's Brazil. People from all corners hit the brakes, with some even getting out of their cars to make way for the snake. And when it passed, traffic resumed again like nothing had happened. The Egg Eater So, there's this egg eater snake, right? And guess what it decided to do? It eyeballed this egg that's practically way bigger than the size of its own head. Like, come on, are you for real, snake? Isn't it literally like watching someone attempting to devour a watermelon? You think this thing can handle it? Well, hold on to your phone then, because this snake, against all logic, and against all odds, went for it. Look at the egg's size. I mean, there's no way it's gonna manage to swallow it. I bet it must be regretting its decision, but definitely can't leave it on camera. Wait, 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 what's happening out there? It actually slurps down this giant egg? Like it's just another day at the buffet. Jeez, talk about defying the laws of snake physics. Red snake. This snake hunter received a call about a snake. Rushed onto the scene and managed to capture it. Looks like a cobra, but the cobra doesn't come in red, I believe. Our snake hunter was thinking he accidentally hit a jackpot by stumbling upon a showstopper red cobra, but had a twist in store. After a closer look, it turns out the poor thing had taken an accidental dip in a garment factory color pot. It was after the snake whisperer washed his snake that the truth unveiled itself. That snake was just your regular non-fashion statement reptile. Sometimes it could be a curveball. And what seems like a red carpet entrance is just a snake 
caught in a Technic color mix-up. The fastest snake. And now comes the Sidewinder Snake, a real desert dance champion. This little guy's not your regular slitherer. It's got some serious moves. Instead of just cruising like a normal snake, it goes all sideways, doing a zigzag dance in the sand. Now, here's the crazy part. This sneaky sidewinder can hit speeds of up to 18 miles per hour. And with this speed, it becomes the fastest snake in the world. Looks cute, doesn't it? But don't go on cuteness here, because this guy is super venomous. So next time, whenever you're in the dunes, do keep an eye out for the Sidewinder, the desert's very own speed demon. Oh, but wait, I forgot to tell you something. You can't easily find it because of this defensive power. I think deserts are no longer a fascinating destination for some people watching this now. The Brazilian Giant. Imagine you came out of your house just to encounter this. Yeah face to face with a creature straight from the Amazon. In the heart of Brazil's Bonito, a city known for its natural wonders, an unexpected twist unfolded on March 11th, 2023, when a six meter anaconda casually strolled through Solar dos Lagos. According to scientists, the reptile entered the city after heavy rains pushed it out of the jungle. Located on a forest bank, residents of this city were used to seeing weird and wild things on their streets but not in such a jumbo pack. So it left them shocked and panicked. It spent an hour in the city, and then wildlife authorities finally managed to capture and later release it in the wild. Snake Island. Snakes on your right, snakes on your left, cockroaches on your behind, and the endless ocean in front of you. Yep, you guessed it right. We're talking about Ila de Queimada Grande the Snake Island of Brazil. Yeah, sure, it looks beautiful, but this isn't your typical tropical paradise, as it earned a reputation as one of the world's most dangerous places, and for good reason. The island is home to a substantial population of golden lancehead vipers, a venomous snake species found nowhere else on the planet. This species is so deadly that the Brazilian government has prohibited visitors from setting foot on the island with access restricted for research purposes only. The dense vegetation and rocky terrain, giving Snake Island that air of mystery and danger, continues to capture the imagination of those who hear about this enigmatic slice of Brazilian wilderness. Real Life Titanoboa In 1959, Colonel Remy Van Leert, a Belgian war hero, encountered a real life Titanoboa in the Congo. While flying over the Katanga region, he spotted a giant Congo snake emerging from a hole, estimating its length at about 15 meters. A hero of World War II and a reliable witness, Van Leerd made multiple passes to capture the snake on film, and later described the snake as dark green and brown with a white belly, boasting a head three feet wide and triangular jaws. Zoologists later authenticated the photos, suspecting it might be an anaconda. But a 15 meter anaconda? Well, there's a solid base that this snake could be our legendary Titanoboa. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. This image reminds me of a strange incident which took place in a village in Malaysia, where a giant eight meter python had come into their village and was rapidly decreasing their chickens and goats day by day. At first, they thought it would go back to the forest on its own. But when it got too much, they decided to come into action. They set up a trap and put a chicken as bait on it so that the snake would unhesitatingly come into their trap. The plan met with success, and the snake got caught. And guess what? This was the largest python ever caught alive. A python of eight meters, 300 pounds of weight, and almost 200 inches in diameter. And that's where the rumor started, because the people who captured it believed it was a titanoboa they accidentally captured. So, what's your take on it? Let me know in the comments down below.